so first what you're going to do is launch the Faceit desktop application. You're, wanna, you're going to want to go under the Play tab on the top left, go to the Hub section, and then click on the plus icon. This is going to pop up an overlay that will allow you to create a hub and later join a hub once it's been created. So we're going to go ahead and click on the Create Hub button. Under here, your, the organizer should be yourself. The game should be Counter-Strike Global Offensive, and the region should be US. Name the hub the name of your match. So if you're Clemson playing Ohio, name it Clemson v Ohio. In this case, we're just going to name it CSL Setup. Once you've entered the name, hit Create. Once the hub's been created, we need to do a little bit more setup. Go ahead under Settings, and then make sure we go to Queue and Match Settings. This is where the queue name will be. Leave it the same so that way it's the same as your hub. The game, CSGO, the regions, US, and you want to do check-in. So check-in, for those of you who are unfamiliar, you'll hit Q into a game and then you'll get a notification that pops up right around here that asks you to accept the input. Change the join types and disallow solo and select with a team. Allow any skill level between min skill, the minimum skill level of 1 and the maximum skill level of 10. Turn on the anti-cheat required. For the Q algorithm, do first in, first out, and then for cap selected method, do leadership based. This will make it so whoever's the captain in your party is the captain and face it. The game mode we want to select is the traditional 5v5. Make sure the team members show up as 5 and the max players show up as 10. The no-show decision you want to set to is cancel, as that will cancel the match if not all players join. Voting time, 60 seconds. The round settings are best of threes, and leave the description alone. At this point, under the main settings, this is where we'll put the maps. The maps that are allowed are Dust2, Mirage, Nuke, Overpass, Train, Inferno, Vertigo. So you're going to want to remove all other maps. Make sure that you have votable select that we're in a ban ban pick pick ban ban pick phase. Turn game server location votable off and set it to Chicago. If both teams agree to play on either Denver or Dallas, change that setting here. Change it to the game config to tournament config. Friendly fire should be enabled and knife round should be turned on. Knife rounds on the first two maps should be decided based off the pick phase in which the team will call the other team's pick. So if you are the away team, you will pick your starting side on the home team's map. And if you are the home team, you will pick your starting side on the, on the away team's map. In the case of a third map, the knife round will play out and side pick will proceed from there. Max overtime will be six, as in three terrorist rounds and three counter terrorist rounds can be played maximum. This is not the max amount of OTs, as the max amount of OTs are played to a win in CS, as you might have OT1, OT2, OT3, etc. Make sure overtime money is sent to $10,000, vote to kick us off, and we want to change timeout to 30 seconds. And make sure that timeout's allowed is set to 4. 180 seconds per team. And the max rounds played would be the default 30. Leave bots on and bot difficulty leave to two. Bots are for if a player disconnects in a round and the team does not opt to take a pause to allow them to play. Dead talk is allowed on as it is assumed you will be in a discord or a team speak. Starting money is as always the default 800 and make sure TV delay is set to 60 seconds or a minute for the spectators. Team pick should be off as you will queue in as a team. Do not turn any auto bans on. At this point, your queue has been created. Once you're done with the queue settings, scroll all the way up and go to main settings and make sure invite only is on. At this point, go up to the little drop down icon, hit invite players, copy the link, and you'll DM this to your teammates and your opponent's captain. At this point, they'll go back to the play tab go to hubs, hit the plus icon, and at this point put the 
URL invite code in there. They'll get a pop-up that says your username invite you to join the name of your hub. And at that point, they'll hit accept invitation. Once both teams have a full party, a full face of party as established in the top right, go ahead and hit play and it, the queue will pop. I wish you all the best of luck in your games.